Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you? Are you well? Is this place good? Does it look pleasant? Can you see the tree behind me? It is called the pine tree. These trees are found in abundance here. It is lush and grown tall. It is heartwarming to see. So all these places are in fact very cool over here. They have grown many trees. So there is always cool weather. Isn't there joy in the heart when there is a change in the weather? When there is a cool weather, the reason is these people have grown many trees and set up gardens and are maintaining it very well. Even we must grow trees and nurture them. That is a blessing to us. The Lord God has created trees for that purpose. So I am very happy to see it here in every house they grow and nurture big trees, plants and flowering plants. It is very beautiful even around our house. We can beautifully create a garden with small plants. If you pay attention to it, it will be a blessing to you and to others who see it. Okay, are you thinking, what word does the Lord God say to me today? It is from Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 18. Let me read this verse for you. The Lord says, And restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I will restore comfort to his mourners. Isn't there some kind of sorrow in your heart? You are unable to say it out. But there is a sorrow inside you. Some kind of hurt a longing. Won't anyone say a comforting word? Isn't that why you're watching Walk with Jesus, saying that the word the Lord speaks is comforting? Everyone's heart looks for comfort. If sorrow attacks our hearts, the heart searches for comfort to remove that particular sorrow. The Lord says, I will restore comfort to the mourner again. That means the Lord comforts many times. He gives comfort many times again and again. What does it mean if I'm sorrowful again and again? The Lord never tires. He says once again, I will reach to comfort to those who mourn. I comforted you once. I comforted you many times before this. Are you thinking that's all? I will leave you now. Regardless of how many times you mourn, I will comfort you. The Lord says so. Do you see how good the Lord is? During the days when Jesus was in this world, he comforted many. He was revealed as the God of comfort. When a woman whose heart was wounded by sin and cast out by society shed tears, Jesus said, Daughter, your sins have been forgiven. Go in peace. I will not judge you. You go. Sin no more. He said these comforting words. A widow was crying because her only son died. That was a great sorrow. I have become an orphan who is there for me in this world. She was troubled like so. The entire town came together, but no one comforted her. Jesus had compassion on her, went to her and said, Woman, don't cry. Don't shed tears. I am unable to bear you crying. He comforted her to change her tears. We see in the scriptures that he performed a miracle and turned that daughter's sorrow into joy. The only brother of the young women named Martha and Mary died. That's all. They were shedding tears and crying. They didn't have their parents. Their only brother was their support. Even he had died. Jesus saw their tears. He shed tears and comforted them. He comforted them as he wept, saying, I am partaking in their tears and grief. He raised the young man who was dead back to life. He will do it for you as well. What needs to be done so that you are comforted? The Lord knows that only if a miracle happens, you will be comforted. And Jesus will surely perform a miracle for you because he loves you. He gave his life for you. He is a father who loves you like his children. My child is crying. My child is shedding tears. I will perform a miracle. A miracle is going to happen for you today. 
He will perform a miracle to comfort you. He will transform your sorrow and make you rejoice. That is why he went to the cross. Dear Lord, you gave yourself as a sacrifice on the cross of Calvary to comfort us. This son, this daughter is troubled and sorrowful. Perform a miracle to comfort their hearts. In the name of Jesus, let a miracle happen today. Let it happen now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.